Welcome back to Living Dayton, everyone. The folks at Wilberforce University are getting ready to lace up their sneakers and take a stroll. Here to tell us more about the school's walkathon is Sunsia Ray Ross. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So the big day is tomorrow. It's tomorrow. What exactly are you all walking for? Wilberforce University has been a historical institution in the nation as it relates to higher education for African Americans. Mm -hmm. And it's been an institution of legacy and history, not only historically, but currently, as well as it will continue to be in the future. Absolutely. What a lot of people don't know is over 95% of our students receive financial assistance. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important for us to be able to provide quality academic and student programs for these students, but more importantly, continue to raise awareness about the university as it relates to our mission and movement so that we can continue to do what our mission statement says which is advance lives and transform futures. That's great. Mm -hmm. So so you're walking and I take it some of the funds will be going towards the university. Absolutely. Okay. It, is a, it is a university event okay. and it's really historic in that one we're the first private HBCU in the nation. Mm -hmm. um, it's named after Colonel Charles Young which was a very historical figure in the military as it relates to uh -huh. African Americans. But the thing that's really unique about him is he made a historic 500 mile horseback journey ride across the country to the nation's capital to prove that he was fit for duty. Wow. And what we're doing is we're asking Wilberforceans and supporters across the nation, because this is actually a national event, uh -huh. um, to prove that we are still fit for duty and will yeah. continue to do that by honoring him through this national event right. taking place. And we're actually walking in eight cities tomorrow. Okay. Uh, it's going to be in Xenia, Ohio. Yeah. I want to make sure I get them all right. Um, Cleveland, Ohio, uh -huh. Cincinnati, Ohio. Elyria, Ohio, uh, Queens, New York, Erie, Pennsylvania, Chicago, Illinois, and Detroit, Michigan. Wow, so not only all of Ohio, but we've even got New York and Chicago and Detroit, you said. Absolutely, wow. absolutely. That's really great. And you mentioned um, Wilberforce is the first college HBCU? It and is the first private HBCU private, in the okay. nation. We are also the only UNCF member institution north of the Mason-Dixon line. Wow. So historically, and even now, if it were not for the presence of Wilberforce University, mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of young professionals yeah. today and young you know, academians in general that would not have had the opportunities that they have had it not been for Wilberforce. Right. So right. it's so important. So we definitely want to go out, support, and walk. So if people are interested in coming out tomorrow, let's get the details to them. Absolutely. Tomorrow we're walking. The race takes off at 9 a.m. Registration mm -hmm. starts at 8. Okay. Um, we're walking at Xenia Station in Xenia, okay. Ohio. Okay. Um, so pretty much they come out there, bring their teams, their friends, come and have a good time. Great. We have the information up on the screen. They can also go to wilberforce.edu slash walk. Absolutely. And okay. get more more details there. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Thanks for having me. We'll keep our fingers crossed <laughs> on the sunshine for All the right. tomorrow. Thank